Let's talk about Teams. So in this session, we're going to talk a bit about Microsoft Mess or Immersive Space. And I brought some of my good friends here. So let's go and say hi to Michael and Carsten. How are you doing, guys? Oh, perfect. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, we're doing great. It's fantastic to play around in here. So with this, this immersive space is just, ah, oh, it's awesome. It's uh, definitely an upcoming meeting for platform. <laughs> it's so much fun. This is the first time I'm trying it and I've just been playing around, but the things I can see you can evolve it to uh, in a company. Uh, I might think that at some point there will not be that many meeting spaces around anymore <laughs> so this is really really great yeah. we we were just sitting and and talking about uh oh score ahead last yeah sorry so i was just thinking about that this is now microsoft mesh or immersive space so it's a different way of having your meetings but I was wondering about how is it actually to be in this world? Uh, is it uh, really strange or is it just one big cartoon that you think it's, it's weird? Or how are you guys actually thinking about being in this kind of a meeting? No, kind of becoming one with it. Yeah, but also another thing is that you more uh, like it's your avatar. So there's nothing about being afraid of standing up in the open because this is an avatar this is it's me but it's not me so it's it's really a nice way to to be around and talk with people and yeah it's actually pretty good yeah so let me just jump over here because we actually did something and shared a presentation during this call so even though we it's are awesome. in an immersive space you can actually show a presentation and you can have it in a large scale. So Michael, you could maybe give it a go and jump up and be the presenter for us guys today. So today we're gonna talk about mess. And uh, here we have a slide of uh, Microsoft Miss. This is a, a PowerPoint. Unfortunately, I'm not able yeah. to... Yes, slide two, there it come. And we can talk about uh, collaboration. And right now, I'm standing facing towards Carsten and Lars in this virtual uh, meeting room. Um, but I actually have a personal stage, so I can see the presentation straight in front of me. Uh, everybody is actually capable of doing it. So I don't have to turn around and look up there to, to see it. I can just stand here and talk to them and be out in the open, be open-minded and give a thumbs up if necessary. Um, and it's really crisp and clear. Uh, it's, it's something new. It's something different. And I really, really love it. It's, yeah. yeah. I will join next to you guys as well. The presentation is really, really clear and crisp. And, and, and one thing is that you can see it up on, on the main screen. But again, as Michael was mentioned, you can also get your personal up. So, I mean, if there's just some small detail before you were showing your desktop for us, and, and if you take up your personal view, I mean, you could go into small detail to see. I mean, uh, big surprise, we have created this one uh, presentation from a co-pilot just saying, what was the last? Create seven slides on, on uh, Microsoft Mesh. And, and, and this is the outcome. Uh, I mean, we're just having two major technologies put together here that, that really shows the power of the cloud uh, 365. Um, yeah, I, I'm really surprised. Um, the testing before has been without a uh, presentation. On, and I really thought that was, that was a big lag. But again, that was just me not testing deep enough. Now we have put everything together, have a meeting group we can use, and we can have a PC joining in also. Um, uh, we didn't mention that, but uh, you can join from your PC with the Mess app. It's a store app, and you can also share your content there. So you don't need to have the meeting room for getting uh, the contents. You can get it directly from a PC. So, I mean, there, there are really yeah. so many uh, awesome ways that, that we can present 
in a fun way for this one. Um, I just raised my hand to show everybody you can raise your hands. And one of the things I see when I'm out as an integrator is that the more and more architects they want to have this fantastic area where it's a cozy area and they want to have it as a, a meeting room for those meetings which you 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 need to sit around, maybe you need to give a message to to, to an audience, but but you don't want to have this big screen in there because it's not aesthetic, right, etc. But this actually brings me the, the larger screen. And with these uh, Meta Quest glasses, it's not that expensive to have this situation around. And I will not say you can run this for like two hours because uh, you will probably be seasick. It's actually <laughs> close that we have been running it for two hours, Michael. So, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> At least uh, more than one hour now, because I I, I agree. I mean, uh, the first time I played around with this one, I also get motion sickness. But you get used to it, and and right now I actually I'm feeling okay still, even though we have been one hour plus uh, in the meeting. So, uh, but yeah, it's definitely something that you need to get used to. Uh, yeah. So our recommendation is definitely when you start doing a Microsoft Mesh, please don't book uh, several hours for a call, but it would be really cool just to start by sitting on a chair. That makes it a lot, lot easier. Oh, now Carson left. So where did it actually go? Let's see if I can find him. Um, no, doesn't seem he's here. No, he just leave, uh, left the room in here. So uh, he, <laughs> yep, uh, maybe uh, we are running on a, uh, <laughs> yes, but we're we're running it every, yeah. on. A, I'm back again. I'm sitting on a 4G connection on a mobile phone for internet connection, yeah. and uh, we have heavy snow here. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure that that was the reason why I got disconnected. But again, that shows what happened was that I I got disconnected. Where I was just clicking rejoin, and hey, I'm in this space again, and uh, everything is good. So, uh, yeah, it, it's yeah, so it's it's actually quite uh, easy to get back yeah, into arrowproof. Another really cool thing is that when you have this headset on and you turn your heads around, it really actually feels that you are in this room. So it kind of like when you twist your head to the side, you will hear one person from one side. And when you twist it to the other side, it will hear the sound from the other sound. And that's some of the really cool experience with like having this immersive space of Microsoft Mesh. So it's it's kind of a really cool feature that you get the real experience of actually being in the room instead of just being in front of a PC. Just that you know the movements, uh, like when, when you're turning your head a little, it, it follows uh, the view. I mean, that you can never get the same feel on a PC. Like there you have to sit with a mouse or something like that to, to control uh, what you're seeing here. It's just natural when you move your head, you see everything, you twist it aside or anything like that. It's just... It just follow you. So, so I mean, with the goggles, it just gives you a, a complete uh, natural uh, way of, of interacting into this immersive space. So a really cool thing about having this Microsoft Mesh experience or immersive spaces is that when you talk with people and you might not know who they actually are, who they report to, you can actually go into their name tag. You can go and look at which department are they in, who are they reporting to, and stuff like that. So it gives a total different experience. And I would love to have the experience in real life as well, because often I know people from the face, but I might not really recognize where they're from. So maybe we could also look about a, a bit about the seating yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, it was just exactly, um, and we were just talking about what could be fun because we can also change the seating. Um, so we'll just uh, see. We have this round set up now, and if you're going to say let's try to go to a table setup, it'll just reload. Hold on, and now we are in a completely different uh, seating. Um, so I don't know if you should try to show how it's done, uh, Lars, because yeah, you have. Uh, you have the recording view. Yeah, so what we were talking about is actually when you are in front of your PC or if you're wearing your headset, you can go in and look at the different settings. So depending on how many persons you are, you can actually do that. 
Another thing is that you can also change like the environment you're in. I don't want to do this since it will take a short delay before yeah. we are back into it. Don't it change the really size. Nice. What, what will happen is that we re re reload a, a completely new universe. What happens is that everybody that are in this universe will go to the next universe. So you, you wouldn't miss participants, but you'll just be out of the meeting for the time for it to load a new uh, yeah, space. A really cool thing about having meetings like this is that it's so easy to get nicely dressed. I mean, Carsten, you're looking great <laughs> today. You too. You too. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, so Micros is low on battery. I guess that we need to wrap it up pretty yeah. short. But another thing is like Microsoft Mesh immersive space. Who would that actually be for? Is it something that we need in all our meetings or who is it for? This is always a fun one because I mean, the the most natural uh, answer will be the young generation that are used to those ones. Um, and to be honest, I've experienced a lot of time just when we introduced avatars uh, for regular Teams meetings, then uh, a lot of Older people of our generation are saying, I don't want to play with that uh, cartoon and so on. But to be honest, I see a lot of people actually using it. So I think it's very difficult. I would rather change the question, say, where would you use this immersive spaces as, um, as, um, as a solution? And again, as a presentation, as we started up, if, if you got a corporate presentation or if you got some sessions or anything like that, uh, conferencing and so on, it would make perfect sense uh, to use those ones. So, 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 so that's that's where I see it uh, makes perfect sense. So, yeah. But um, time is show, To be honest, I don't think it's it's something that we'll see go out to all the corporation and within the next uh, two months, everybody will do this. I mean, this is on. On a showcase where we can see all the cool stuff, we will probably have some first mover saying this is what we want. We want this to uh, to show off and say that we are a technology uh, company and, and it actually works. And, and But I'll say within a couple of years, this will make perfect sense to company presentation, product presentation, something like that. We were sitting and just calculating on it. and. I mean, you easily spend, uh, I don't know, uh, 50,000 uh, uh, euros on, on a big monitor where you can have uh, a large meeting room where you can say if you buy some of those goggles, if you buy tin, that's the same price. And, and, and then you are fully fully uh, into this immersive spaces um, with the ups and downs. So, I mean, it, it's not like it's crazy price-wise to, to get started in, in, in this scenario, if you ask me. I mean, right now we need the premium license and yeah, that, there's a price associated with it. But I mean, um, it, it's affordable, affordable compared to what else is uh, being budgeted on um, on meeting rooms. So yeah, uh, again, I know it's a little low, low key answer for what you ask for, but uh, time will show and I think it for everybody. Yeah, I definitely think that Microsoft Mesh is for everyone. I think it's more consideration about having the discussion about when are you having meetings or what type of meetings are you having like face to face? What kind of meetings do you have to have on Teams and what kind of meetings can you do in Microsoft Mesh and have this new experience with it? As you probably saw and maybe also heard from the recording, my voice was not recorded since I was in the call as well with my headset on, but I messed up doing the recording. So everything that you heard from me, it was actually Torrower. So I hope it makes sense. And I did also change my glasses and my shirt because it's actually a week later since I started this editing. So just back from IRC, it's been a great show over there and so many cool people that I've met there. So thanks to those uh, who actually are joining these sessions and look at us and then also came up to us and say hi during the IC show in Barcelona. So this was all for Let's Talk About Teams in this session, mostly about Microsoft Mesh. See you out there. Bye. Thank you.